Okay, so I'm getting ready to go ahead and get the tires taken off because I need to get these things uh, changed. As you can see, yeah, they're pretty bald right here. <laughs> like, yeah, bald. So, gonna go ahead and take these off now, load them up, and then uh, get these tires put on. They're pretty much temporary used tires, so I'm gonna have those on for a little bit until I get some uh, more money to get like a full set. The fronts are brand new still. They got a lot of thread. As you can see. Well, these are tires off right now, and as you can tell, this is pretty bad. Uh, yeah. But the good thing is, at least I can see the wear. It wears pretty evenly across. So, at least my alignment's still good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this loaded up and then bring it back and put them back on the car. Then we can start on some other work on here. So in kissing me right now, so one quick fun fact is that uh, my insurance rate has pretty much gone up just by coming out here. There's two places where the insurance is pretty much crazy. That's by the University of Central Florida and now he gets me. You guarantee to get on accident or even I-4. Pretty much all over Orlando you could pretty much get a accident or something. All right, so I'm back from the tire shop. Uh, man, shout out to them for having been able to get these tires on for me. Uh, yeah. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my, I haven't even used this yet, but it's a roller from ECS Tuning. So they had a sale on that, I'm like, hmm, let me go try this out and see if I could uh, go ahead and try and re-roll out or fix this uh, indentation that came, like my wheel hit the fender. So I'm gonna try and knock it out, hit, hit some like, put some heat to it, put a heater gun roll it out and see if I could bring it back out. So on the other side, over here, it's perfect. It's rolled pretty good and I have a lot of clearance where I'm able to, uh, the wheel has enough room. But later on down the road, I wanna go ahead and cut all this out and pretty much make a custom wide body for the rear. So that way the whole rear would be like completely flush. So first things first is this part. And this. Apparently no instructions, so we slide this piece into that piece over here and pivots like so. And then you take that piece right here, that knob thingy, put it in this hole right here. And then this piece goes through on here. So you're able to turn it and I guess pivot this out, um, giving you good enough angle to go ahead and get the rolling started. So I'm gonna go get my bolts and start on this. Okay, so I pretty much made a couple pass on this section right here and it's coming out pretty nice right now. So what I'm pretty much doing is um, have this hand go on the heat gun, keeping it steady with the heat. And then right here, I'm just rolling it back and forth between here. As I go, I'm gonna go from this section to that section to that section until I come down to like, actually right here, I'll stop. Cause this right here is just bumper. So it's gotten kind of dark and ain't this, uh, this piece right here pretty much broke off so yeah <laughs> so right now I'm kind of like stuck in the fact that I can't take this off right here it's stuck so I think once I take the bolts off I should be able to slide it out I'm like really it's my first time using this thing so yeah this thing doesn't look like it's worth even buying you might as well get one of the Eastwood sets but at least I'm pretty much done with what I'm doing. Uh, behind this is like some rubber material. So I'm going through and like scraping it out, 
digging it out or whatever. So it gives more room to get a little bit flatter. But since this is broken right now, I guess this is as good as I'm going to get it until, yeah, I get ready to cut these fenders out. But, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't look pretty, but it's better than what it looked like before. I'm going to go ahead and, like, try to clean this off, too. So it's a new day today, and this is where we're at from leaving off last night. It, yeah, it looks kind of... It's straight and I have enough room right now, but yeah, I need to like clean this up a little bit. But anywho, today it's on the ground back again. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is get the AC pretty much working right now. So I'm gonna, I have the kit right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it unboxed. And I ordered this from Amazon, the whole kit. So it comes with the uh, Freon, the gate, the manifold, the gauge, and I got the Freon from Harbor Freight. So yeah, all in all, it came out to be like around 150-ish, no more than that, or maybe even less, like 130 for everything. So yeah, go ahead and uh, get this popped. All right, so this is all. This right here is the vacuum pump. That's the most important part I need right now because I need a vacuum out. Not vacuum out, but pretty much put vacuum inside of the system and make sure everything is being held in and no leaks. So from where I'm starting is there's absolutely no Freon inside my system. If you're doing this at your um, home, just go ahead and have it at, evacuated at like a shop or something like that comes with a manual I'm gonna look it over real quick but pretty much most procedure is just to like pretty much add in the oil and everything so pump 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 we've got some oil in here and the pump itself and that's it So it feels heavy, so I'm guessing it is, should be good, but not expecting too much. It just needs to get the job done for this time around. Uh, I've heard good reviews on it, so hopefully it applies to me also, so yeah. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and open this cap. That's the filler part. Get some oil. And that's the sight pole right here. Let me see some. Well, that made it easier. So take one of these ports off and let it go. And it'll start to break itself in. Here's the manifold set. That's it. Oh, Mofis. And there we go. Comes with manifolds, adapters. Hoses. So it looks looks decent. So I'm gonna go ahead over here and the last time I was at an AC place, they keep on forgetting to put my darn caps back on. So here I'm missing one, and luckily I had a spare one from the from the donor car I had. So I had to use those to cap it, but I need another one for that one right here because I really yeah I really need to 
keep inside of here clean. I don't want the Schrader valve inside to get messed up. And it is like hot as heck right now. And I don't, yeah, it's hot. I'm sweating like crazy. All right, so I have everything hooked up. Uh, the blue goes to blue, red goes to red, and the yellow is in the middle. And you install that little hanger thing in the middle. And you come down and add the quick disconnects at the bottom. So it looks pretty solid so right now. I'm pretty impressed with it. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the port. All right, so the red goes here and the blue over here. And the valves are open. It's connected to the port. So we're gonna go ahead and have this. Pretty much turn it on and make sure everything is good first. Uh, good to go. Open and one last check. <laughs> All right, we could power down. Now. Good sun. It's dropping right now. All right, so it's down to the in the green negatives all the way down and we have vacuum so good thing is it only took like it took less than a minute actually so I had it sitting right now for the last two minutes with it off I want to make sure that uh, there's no leaks so I'm gonna go ahead and run some errands and by the time I come back which will be in like another two hours or so hopefully this needle has not moved alright so by taking this off now it should still be at zero, vacuum down. So right now I'm just gonna take this end and put it onto the Freon can. So let me go get that set up. Just one of these bad boys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. Upside down, keep it going. All right, so I ran into a little issue in which my there's no air coming out my vents, and I know air has been coming out my vent. I checked like uh, a couple months ago when I was like. I needed like some defrost. Pretty much. I started letting the Freon come in and then I came in to check and make see how cool it was going through. So I went through one bottle and I started on the second one. When I came I noticed there was no air coming out of my vents. So first thing came to mind is like okay let me scan the car and that didn't really give me any insight on what was going on. So I went ahead and uh, assumed okay it might be the blower motor. So, So I went ahead and opened up, pretty much see the top side of my blower motor. Took this off. And if you could see. Okay, now I got it open. So if you look down in here, the blow motor is there and pretty much what I'm seeing should see like that little bolt on top it shows some rust in there so what I'm assuming occurred is water pretty much got in here and the blow motor is seized up so I'm gonna go ahead and do is I uh, drop out the... so I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and drop out the blow motor and see if I could like salvage it in some way while I order a new one or see if I can lube it back up and start working it so yeah, one thing to the next. So hopefully I try to drop it out right now. It doesn't take that long. Blow motor is pretty easy to drop out. Actually, that took as short a time as possible. See, now it's spinning. And what I did was I went ahead and got this. 
and I like moved it that way so it like it was seized up so now I should go ahead and be able to start getting some cool air in here here we go nice cool air coming out but not this one there we go so hopefully it just was stuck Close with that rust so by running a little bit more now it should stay lubricated but at least now I know I need to go ahead and swap that thing out soon so who's the happy guy right now I'm pretty much happy I'm stoked that I finally got AC again it's blowing and it's blowing cold so happy well, at least that's crossed off my list. All right, so this should be the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and um, make comments or whatever. And yeah, see you in the next one.